Good morning, it's the 9th of June 2015. An update on the main plot. It's been a, another interesting spring. Set off so mild in the winter, I gambled on it being a benign spring, early summer, based on no science other than it's been mild up to that point. So I set off in earnest and had a great timetable of keeping up to date and sowing early. Uh, my plan usually is I germinate at home. Once the early things have germinated, move them onto the greenhouses here, fleece them, and so on. Anyway, when it came to the last video, I was really behind. Uh, there was a traffic jam such that it's now meant that there's, if we have a look, a few empty beds. There's things germinated, waiting in the cold frame, but they're about three or four weeks behind, as I've usually germinated them. The backlog meaning there is no space left to do anything here until I've got things out. So it's a mad rush getting all the flowers out, so on and so forth. They've yet to beef up because it still remains cool. The cool arrived mid-April and it stayed all through May. And we're now first week, end of first week of June and it's not exactly El Scorchio. So normally my uh, baskets would have been slightly further on. Yes, I don't know if you saw that. My friend flew out of his nest, which is in the eaves here. Still haven't worked out if it's a sparrow, a robin, or a wren. So I removed this last time, I'd shown you over the winter, and I'd rebuilt the bed. Slightly got the measurements wrong, so I had to move it into a position I hadn't expected. And uh, I don't know, it's a, a little, another hidey hole on my on my garden, just to chill out. And the bed yet to be planted, full of my own compost, topped off with some shop bought stuff. Alderman, the plants are definitely gonna hit the 12 feet of that frame. Figs come out for the summer this year. It's kind of a nice place, this section, because I've got my peach here, and there's several set this year on there. If we can see one up there. So we're just waiting for some heat, really. Beef everything up, speed things on. Squash bed doing well. And I said their main advantage is they were already doing well when they were put out. Banana fleeced from last year, banana mizu, and it looks like it'll set off, and it is growing from last year's growth. Might hit a metre and a half this year. Rat's tail radish. First peas over there, felt them first. And then the beds look a little bit thin and weak. And as I said, they, they're needing some heat. These sweet corn have done very little since they went out pretty much three or four weeks ago. And the top fruit's all set pretty well. German peas, I can't remember, I say German, they're either a Welsh or a German sounding name. They're an old variety with red peas, beginning with B. And they grow a good eight feet. My outdoor tomatoes. I always do outdoor tomatoes and some in pots, some in pots so eventually they come home, easier to water when they get a bit bigger. And if you do a variety of indoor, outdoor pots, it means you can spread the harvest over several weeks. In fact, maybe up to three months as I have in the past. Again, my usual trick of training squashes up. They seem to produce more flowers, or at least they do for me. But look. They're not quite stunted, but those out in the open are just needing more heat. And I think you can probably see condensation due on these strawberries, which for the middle of June is is not on. I want to recount. Alas, there's not much I can do about the weather. 
I'm hoping in the next week or so these beds get planted out. My vines took a hit. I thought it was a heavy pruning I did last year. I really was a bit annoyed with the amount of uh, shade I was having and losing some of the productivity of the bed. So they were in for a big haircut, which, which I gave them last year. However, then, only as far behind as other people who haven't. And I really think it was just, and is, the weather. Cabbage, Cornish Giants weren't that great this year so I've not used them and I've used a variety called Megaton. Greenhouse full of condensation, final positions for the tomatoes if you can see once I've got that sorted I set off my basils quite late and some of the seedlings for the gaps in the beds. A couple of Cleome there which someone kindly mentioned the name of last year for me and those are going to go in one or two gaps in the flower bed. The beds are just so skinny and thin they need beefing up. One beneficial consequence of the delay is that the chillies are well on because they stayed at home for ages and you can see here, it's butchy lock here, you can see a baby one. I'm not going to try and focus in, I always end up stopping the video and having to refilm. So, this is full and it is enjoying, enjoying life. Pretty much everything's out now, still using it to beef up a, a few plants, but overall, going well. Keeping an eye on things, this cherry, first year produced cherries, properly, and I guess this is going to need repotting at the end of the season. Sorry, I might be filming into the sun shortly, onion bed, and all the green netting is over, brassicas. I'm hoping this produces a giant marrow, we'll see. In the garlic bed, producing snapes from the hardneck. These are very much, these are lovely in stir fry. Pull them out and they make a sound as they pull them out. This one seems to be interested in growing trees. It needs a bit of weeding. We took all the seedlings out as we were setting up the allotment. Cold frame full of goodies. Further planted up baby greenhouse. Blueberries, which need to be finished off netting. I don't know if you can see in there, megaton. Thai cabbage. woodland walkway. Sorry for the sun. A few interesting varieties of brassica this year. I'm not going to say say what, I'm going to see if they work first and if they do I'll let you know. Full of currants this year.
Well, we've nearly finished our brief tour. I'll show you again in a few weeks' time when hopefully everything's out. My top fruit's blooming. A few plums. The beds are full. The flowers are blooming. And we're all steam ahead. And I would just say, I do like using a cold frame in the summer. It's like putting plants on steroids. What takes weeks and weeks to grow earlier on in the season, just grows at treble speed. So I hope all's well with you. I don't know what the weather's like for uh, for everyone else. I hope things are going fine. And for now, I'll leave you to it along with the bees on this flower bed.